a market cap. Now in the old days, we'd filter all this out by hand. We'd get the Financial Times, the Wall Street Journal. Um, but now, these days, we can do it all by um, software. Now, as I say, the program that I use is ShareScope. I'm not a software salesperson. I'm not here. I don't have any um, you know, vested interest to push ShareScope to you. It's just a program that I've used, and I've used it for 11 years. Now, a lot of people come to me and say, oh, Vince, I can get free software. I can do this. Great. If you can find something that works for you and it's free, um, but I've come to the conclusion, my point in life, if something costs 30 pounds a month and it does the job for me and it saves time, I'm going to argue over 30 quid. Um, so let's, without further ado, let's talk about ShareScope. In fact, let's bring ShareScope up so you can see me actually using it. So we're just going to come out of the presentation quickly. And ShareScope actually sits on my computer. So here we have ShareScope. And you can update it. Uh, I use it as an end of day system. So you can update it via the internet. So if I just press here on update, and what it will do, it will update all the um, data from the last time um, that I updated. Very important because if you're away and you haven't updated for a while, it's important that it fills in all the backgrounds. Now, while ShareScope is great for charts, the truth is, and what a lot of people don't realize um, is what, you know, the big advantage and what I'm looking for. It's a very good database. All right? So what ShareScope can do, think of it like Excel, if you've ever used the, um, you know, a spreadsheet or a database program. It's got all the information in. And what we can do, we can filter that data. And you say, well, Vince, how, how do we do that? And what can we filter? Well, for instance, new 20 days highs. You remember what I said about looking at 20 day highs? So what I'm going to look at now is only 20-day highs. So these companies here have all made 20-day highs. And so well, can I see it in a chart format? Of course you can. So you can just press on here, the charts, and you'll see exactly the same data. And there's Rio Tinto, and we can zoom into the end, and it's made a 20-day high. And you see what these are? These are those channels, the price channels that I told you about. And the reason why it's brought Rio Tinto up is because it's made a 20-day high. So instead of me having to go through and looking for all the 20-day highs by hand, I've just said to ShareScope, show me all the 20-day highs. And I can just go through all the 20-day highs. And every stock you're going to see here made a 20-day high last night. All right. So that's a good way for me to look for new opportunities to go long. What about on the short side? Can I see that? Yeah, of course you can. Just exactly the same way. You can go back to shares, and you can just list all the uh, new lows. Okay, it's exactly what we just showed on the opposite. So let's bring up Sainsbury's. And again, I'll just zoom into the end. What's going on with Sainsbury's? Well, it's making 20-day lows. Otherwise, we wouldn't be seeing it. And same with this company, and so on and so on. So we can filter the data access, not necessarily the charting package, and the charts are good. It's the database that's important. And that's sometimes where some people say to me, oh, I can get free charts. I say, well, great. What can you do? Can you filter those charts? Can you filter the data? And you know, let's just go back again. What we've also got in here, we've got uh, currencies. And here they've got it under foreign exchange. We've got commodities. We've got exchange traded fund. We've got warrants and other products. And I've got all the UK, US, um, indices in here. We can also import other data as well, but for now just stay with what you get included. So let's just go foreign exchange. Let me have a look at all the currencies that made new 20-day highs. And you won't get that many because there aren't as many currencies. So every currency I'm going to show you, and I'm quite ha uh, happy here because a few of the trades that I've actually got open at the moment um, are on this list. So every currency here is uh, has made a new 20-day high. So this is the Swiss against the yen. So the Swiss is strengthening and the Japanese yen is weakening. Okay, euro against the Swiss, euro against the yen, pound against the yen, New Zealand dollar against the yen, New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. And again, I can just do exactly the same. You know, for for time, I won't go through it here, but I can do exactly the same with commodities. I can do the same on the way back down again as well. What about changing those parameters? Very, very easy. List new highs. So say I don't want to look at 20 days. I want to look at 52 weeks. Now, 52 weeks is roughly 252 days. 
what about 250? 250, 252 days, that's roughly what a year is. So if I only want to look at 52 week highs, that's all I do, just change it to, you know, change the day. You might want to look at seven day, you might, any days you want to look at, and trading days is normally what we use. So 252 day highs. Now take a little while, you know, depending on how fast your computer is, but we're talking seconds here, yeah, we're not, we're not talking hours or days. Um, and what it will do now, it's going to go through all the database and it's only going to show me, and it's finished, it's going to show me the 52 week highs. So you see now it's changed there. So everything that you see here now, and I can change, filter it by closing prices. And the stock I was hoping that was going to be on there is, remember this one? Baidu. So Baidu made a new 52 week high last night. And uh, you can already see that how much this has gone up between what we were looking at earlier and where we are now. So you remember this stock, this was the uh, Google of China. Now at some stage, things are going to go wrong for Baidu, you know, um, it will always happen. But uh, for now the trend is up. So everything I'm going to show you now is a 52 week high. Okay. You've seen, you're starting to see trends. That's another stock that I've actually got uh, open at the moment. Ralph Lauren. So all these stocks made 52 week highs. You see what we start to do is rather than us saying I want to buy this stock, I say to ShareScope, actually show me all the 52 week highs, show me all the 52 week lows. So it goes through the opportunities. Caterpillar, this is a Dow 30 stock. Remember I said to you earlier about trading the actual Dow 30 stocks rather than um, the actual whole Dow, where well, you can do very well by just trading stocks. If you see something like that, um, I actually know the history of this. This is a new issue. The share actually only came out at that time. Um, but as I say, these are all 52 week highs. And again, 52 week lows, exactly the same. We can look at and look to go short on 52 week lows. So restrict to 52 week lows. You know what I said about a boxy chart? That's not the sort of thing that you want to trade. This is on something called the plus market, which is said to be a small market anyway, so avoid that. Again, that doesn't look... So a lot of these ones that are coming out on shorts, uh, Gamble Soup, it's got a 52-week low. So these are lows that we can look to go short as well. Best Buy, this is actually one of my shorts right now. This isn't a buy or sell recommendation, I'm just telling you, showing you an actual short that I've got. Best Buy is a US electrical store, and it's very similar. You remember in DVD one I told you about Dixon's? Um, they've probably got some of the similar problems um, there. But even if you don't know any of the fundamentals that I'm talking about, what's going on with Best Buy? Well, you know, Best Buy isn't living up to its name, certainly as a shareholder. It's, it's basically making a 52 week low. So that's the sort of thing certainly we don't want to have an investment in and if anything we want to be short. All right, so that's filtering for 52 week lows, 52 week highs. We've also got something in ShareScope called data mining, which is this pickaxe and shovel. And again, I'm not going to spend hours going through data mining with you, but just imagine every bit of data that is in ShareScope can be filtered. So if I want to, and you can save filters, you see I've got various filters that we've played around with, and some of them you'll get these already. Uh, so for instance, simple cross, if I just want to see, find shares where a short-term moving average crosses above a long-term moving average, yeah? So I can filter through the data, and that's where the power of ShareScope is. Indices, obviously we've got all the major indices, um, including worldwide indices, so for instance the Nikkei 225 or the Hang Sang or the you know Malaysian index um, they're all in here as well 